Hey guys, it's Ryan from JRocks.com. I'm going through a quick tutorial here here on uh, adding physical products in Gem. So let's get started. First off, you have to log into your Gem admin area, and from there, click on Products, Manage Products. As you can see here, we already have a couple of products uh, for this demo. What we're going to do is add a couple more. So we'll just click on Add Product, and here, let's type in a couple of them here. And to add as many products quickly as you want, you just click on Add New Row. Now I want to check this box here to make sure it shows up on our home page. Click Submit. Okay, now you see that it's listed in our products uh, page. Currently the status for each product is still set to inactive, which means it's uh, not going to show up on your store. Once you set these to active, it will automatically show up on your store so that uh, people can view it. Now we want to uh, quickly make changes to the to the product. What we're going to do is go through some of these tabs um, so you can see how it all works. First off, the info tab, status, product name, self-explanatory right? product keywords these are keywords if you want to uh, you know for for searching your store so if you want to add keywords here you can um, product SKU this is the identifier product identifier for the um, for your for that product IDs um, product views and just how many views this particular product details has shown this automatically gets uh, updated every time the store uh, that product details page is viewed so date available if you want this uh, particular product to be available only after a certain date you can select it here as well as date expires um, if you want this product to expire and not be shown on your store after a certain date you would also select a date here down here it's we're in the product pricing area obviously product price add to cart um, this means that if you want the user to have to add this particular product to the shopping cart first before seeing the, pr the price you would enable that option here and log in to see price uh, this is an option where you would require users to be to have to be logged in to your store before they can see the price uh, for example you know, casual browsers of your store will have to register with your store before they can see it Minimum quantity and maximum quantity fields. Um, obviously, this is if you need the uh, minimum quantity for that particular person to order, as well as the maximum quantity for that particular person can order at any given time. Description tab. This is basically just uh, the tabs for describing the product. So if you actually go to uh, and click on more info here for the Apple iPhone, oh, let's click it again. Notice there's overview, description, and features. These are the tabs that ref that uh, will show the text for these particular fields here. So we can just quickly put something in here. Now let's go through the options tab. Um, this is for product commissions. Uh, if you want to enable or disable custom commissions here, you would set those fields. And down here, product options. If you want this this product to show up on your new products page, and the feature product will be on the home page. Select these options to yes. Recommended product. If you want it to show on the recommended area after the user has added this product to the cart. Down here is for product inventory options. If you have inventory, um, if you want to enable product inventory for this, you can enable that here. Um, and also set the actual inventory amount. Product weight, if this, uh, if you'll be doing uh, shipping for using UPS or, or something that's weight based, uh, UPS or USPS, you would enter the amount, the weight amount here. And then, so let's say five pounds, you would put five pounds there. Let's save this. Now let's go through the groups tab. 
groups tab is just for setting the categories for this product so if you want it to show up on the different categories on your store you would select the, the categories here so for instance this is a phone let's make it show up on the phones category product attributes um, attributes are, are pretty much just the options for the product uh, for example if for the iPhone if you want to have different if you want to sell them in different colors you can create an attribute in the manage attributes area for color and uh, size whatever um, in the meantime we'll just select this color air, uh, color attribute here um, so it'll show up on the on the sample product later memberships and groups if you want to add if for example if you want to uh, have a particular uh, when a user buys this product and you want them to show up on a mailing list add them to the mailing list of a particular because they bought this product you can also add that here if you're using drop shipping you would enable select the vendors here for the drop shipping option and the manufacturer if you are using manufacturer fields so this one is Apple Okay, now that we've saved all those ones for the for those tabs, we'll go ahead and upload a photo. Right here, you can just upload a quick photo here. You can upload as many photos as you want. And you can do them all simultaneously as well, but just by adding new row allows you to upload as many photos as you need for this product right away. Just click Submit. Now we've noticed there's a new photo available for this for this product. Lastly, um, if you have a video that you'd like to show for this product, this uh, gem also has video capabilities. For example, if you have a YouTube clip that uh, shows how you show your product in action or something something like that, uh, you can embed that uh, code right here. Uh, so you know, let's go ahead and, and do a quick test of that here. Let's copy our my YouTube channel. Now that we've added the code here for the for the video, you have to set this option to yes. If you're using an embed code from a different site, for example, a YouTube site, if you're using your own FLV file, you would set that set this option to no. But since we're using an external um, website to stream the videos in. You have to set this to yes. Another option to think about is this option here, use video as default media. Um, this option really just uh, states that if you want to use video instead of photos that uh, to automatically have those show up before for the details page, you can set this option to yes. So currently, if you notice, uh, this on the, let's reload this page here. The iPhone, it will show the photo by default. Um, if you want to show a video instead, you would set this option to yes. So let's go ahead and do that now. Click submit. Okay. And let's refresh that product page so you can see it in action. Let's see, notice now there's a YouTube video that will show up instead of the photos, but users can still browse the photos on the photos tab. And you can also add as many videos as you want, and there's also an embed code that users can embed that code for to your um, for your website. Notice the um, attributes users can uh, select here, and also reviews. If the user, if you have reviews there, users will post reviews right here. Uh, basically, that's the. Uh, that's uh, how adding uh, how to add a uh, physical product in Gem. Um, we'll go ahead and go through some of the other options here, like discount groups and affiliate groups, in a different video. Thanks again. I hope you watch uh, other ones as well.